Yeah. I, dog man, am going to run for president in 2028. Because I'm not ready yet. Okay, I haven't even started. And it's too late for this year. Because I'd win. But 2028. So I guess I better tell you what I'm going to change in this country, in this world. Are you ready? Let's go. First executive order I will issue every citizen a white robe. You seen them movies where they go to the future and they're all in harmony wearing white robes? We got to start with the white robes. Nah, nah, then nah, you give everybody a white robe, you can't make fun of what people are wearing, and that ain't no fun. Okay, okay, we we give everybody a white robe. And then we put decals in a giant tumbler. And everybody's got to pick in there and pick out their own decal. And it doesn't matter what it is, that's getting ironed on to the back of their robe. It could be something silly. It could be something that's going to get you hurt. But no, it won't get you hurt. Because we're living in harmony, right? And I'm going to get rid of all vehicles. Everybody's going to have to walk. Pretty hard to have wars when you got to walk. And you ain't going to be allowed to ride horses either. Nope. That's how, you know, back in the day before cars, and they rode horses, and they still found a way to have war. Yeah, no horses. We're going to ship them all off to, I don't know, Antarctica. They might like the cold. I don't know. We could, we could get some machines and melt a bunch of that snow and ice and put them in there. And then heat it up. My campaign's failing already. Oh, my God. Uh, but yeah. White robes. Why is that whenever they... What movies was that? Was that where they went in the time machine or something? Where they go in the future? I don't know. And they're all wearing these white robes. And they're sitting around going, Hum. Hum. Who the hell wants to live like that? Harmony don't look fun. We like chaos. We like we like bad things, man. Whether you like you like to admit it or not, you can click on the news. You want to see drama. You're not going to click on the headline news if it says, "Watch this beautiful flower bloom." You don't care. You want to look at Chicago gangs. Meet up for a big uh, battle. You like that stuff. Admit it. There wasn't that kind of thing going on in the world. You'd be bored. You'd be out doing something productive. Like, I don't know, building something. I don't know, man. I gotta have a cup of coffee get my brain thinking. All right, uh, what else am I gonna do as president? That is one one job I would not want. Mm, that's good coffee. I, hey, I could be president of the coffee place. Mm. Oh, I keep clanging stuff. I'm trying to reach my mouse and I can't. There's too much junk in the way. And I know, as president, I'm going to have to deal with matters like Russia and China. I ain't too worried about China. You know why? They can't get out. They got that big wall goes around there. So why is everybody always worried about China? They can't get out of there. They're staying there. Unless you knock that wall down, we're not going to do that. That keeps them in. Oh. We might just pack up North Korea and send them over to China. Then we ain't got there. Well, heck, they never come out of their place anyway. So, can you imagine being a North Korean? They don't probably have no concept of anywhere else. You know, they only get to see on TV 
what they allow them to see. Can you imagine what kind of things they're showing those North Korean citizens? They're probably showing pictures of the United States uh, on fire, you know, well, pretty much like it is. That's pretty much what they got to show, you know, killing each other, things like that. But when you grow up somewhere, you don't know any, if, if you are not shown, we, none of us here know what it's like to have total media blackout. Uh, everything in that country has been controlled, you know. Now, in the generations they have now, none of them have ever seen, you know, anything pretty much modern. Um. Uh, so they have no idea what anything in the United States looks like unless there's, you know, like a Playboy magazine that kind of gets, uh, you know, slipped through the masses. Who knows? But they're growing up in a way that they've never seen. They only see what the government lets them see, which is very little. From what I understand, I ain't never been over there. I'd have no desire to go over there. But I heard they got, you know, when people do come over there, they got fake stores they set up that show that it's full of fruit, full of groceries, when the truth is they got nothing. But that, that big old chunky Kim jong Hoon doom foon guy, he's got everything. Yeah, that's how them dictators live. I don't know. What else, what else can I do for you to get your vote? president I guarantee you one thing i'm gonna fix the daggum alpo rhythm on youtube yeah there needs to be some some things put in place there because man i there are videos that go viral on youtube that are ridiculous world's largest dorito i, I cut my own left toe off stupid things why can't this video go viral? I bet it will, because the title's going to say I'm running for president. So, yeah, I guess I'll get, I better get ready. i got to find me a campaign manager. I don't know who who that could be. Uh, probably Rooster. Miss Rooster, my dog, would probably do about as good a job as any of them. Waldo could be my commander. Oh, Commander in Chief, I'm sounding like somebody familiar, ain't I? Oh, you are the Commander in Chief, okay? You are. If you're going to be president, you're the Commander in Chief. You don't have one, you're the one. Don't get me going, don't, don't get me going. Get, get some coffee. I'll just, I'll just start, I'll just make all new cabinets. Okay, all new positions. Waldo could be head dog. There ain't never been a head dog. He needs to be head dog. I mean, the dogs need a leader, don't they? Certainly. Waldo has the age. He has the experience. Uh, he can't hear, but you don't need to hear. And I think his vision's going out. But he's still got his brain. He knows how to bark. Lily... That girl's afraid of everything. So I don't know what I could put her in charge of. Charge of the United States Knitting Department. She'd probably be good at that. And Waddles. Uh, he could be, you know, Secretary of the Roosters. Gotta have positions. Maybe we need more animals in those positions. Things wouldn't be as bad. Because you, we're overcomplicated. We think too much. They don't. They just look at the basic things. That's food. I'm going to eat it. That's a good place to poop. Going to go poop there. That's how animals think. They don't think about if there's something growing there. And if they touch their butt touches the ground, will they get an allergy? Anything like that. They don't care. They just do it. And that's how we need to be. So we're going to have animals... In the cabinets, they'll probably get more done. Uh, what are we going to do about, I don't know. I got four years. I got four years to come up with a detailed plan. I just need you to get in, you know, my name and my party. 
Yeah, I gotta come up with my own party. It's, we'll just call it the fun party. Now, you'll have Republicans, Democrats, and the funds. Who would not vote fun over the other two? I would. That's President Dogman from the fun party. He's fun. <laughs> well, we are just molding this campaign as we go. And I don't talk politics. But when I'm running, I have to. I got to get your vote. What is 10 times 75? I don't know, man. I ain't no mathematician. You don't have to be to be president. Hmm. That's a good, nice film container there. Oh, I forgot I was making a video. That's all right. You don't need a good attention, attention span to be the president. Because you got people. Yeah. You don't want to do something, you stay in bed, you tell your, your you know, your, your, your aide, hey, go do this, and then put my name on it, or bring it to me, and I'll sign it. That's how it's done. But I'm not going to be that way. I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be washing dishes in the local cafe, alongside nobody. Because nobody's there, because nobody wants that job. Because it don't pay nothing. But you know what? It will when I'm president. A dishwasher will start. Will start at forty-eight thousand dollars a year. And here's the best part: the company only has to pay a quarter of that. The government will pick up the rest. Free health care. Oh, yeah, I know you get. You want to go out and vote for me right now, but. It ain't time. It ain't time. I've, I've got to put these things down on paper. That's why I've been, you know, I tear off the calendar day. I got one of them desk things. I save that paper for scratch paper. See, I'm conservative when it comes to recycling and things like that. I know what I'm doing. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't know those were there. Ooh. Pork rinds. How many carbs are in this? Oh, there I go again. There I go again. So I am the perfect candidate. That's all I got, guys. I can't tell you everything in one video. Let me think. What would you like me to do as your president? Why don't, why don't I just make you all my vice president? Not one vice president. But millions of vice presidents. That's a good idea. That's never been attempted. I don't know how we'll, we'll all fit you all on the stage to swear you in. But it's doable. We could do it via satellite. <laughs> Remember that? Let's go via satellite. We can do that. And everybody raise their hand. You know. But if somebody don't raise their hand. And they take that oath. Then you got to watch out for them. Well, we're going to weed those kind of people out. All right. Be thinking of what you're going to do for my campaign. And we will see you tomorrow. And we will discuss this in more. Where's my mouse? Uh, and, yeah, you know, a president needs to have a cool head and a level temper. Happy trails.